Welcome to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz, hosted by me, Dominic. I'm from Cambridge, and I hope you enjoy this quiz. Welcome to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. My name is Will, I'm from Norfolk. I'm going to be this week's co host. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm not sure how the introductions ended up on the very last video of the week, but that was Will and Dom. This is Road Trivia. Good luck! Question number one. Set in the Scottish Highlands, what is the title of the film that tells the story of Princess Merida of Dunbrook, who was the first official Disney princess created by Pixar? It's animated, but it's still set in the UK. The answer is Brave. Question number two. Old Waldor Castle in Wiltshire was used as a shooting location for which 1991 Kevin Costner film, with the castle being advantageous because depending on the angle viewed, it appears either intact or in ruins. That film was Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Question number three. With shots filmed in England, Wales, and Scotland, what 2012 movie starring Kristen Stewart and Chris Hemsworth took full advantage of the beautiful landscapes throughout the whole United Kingdom? The answer is Snow White and the Huntsman. Question number four. The UK's Jacobite steam train is probably the most iconic train in the world over the last 20 years, especially when viewed chugging along the Glenfinnan Viaduct in Scotland. What series of movies is this train famously featured in? The Jacobite Steam Train is the real name of Hogwarts Express from Harry Potter. Question number five. Starring Christopher Lambert and Sean Connery, what 1986 British fantasy action film chronicles the climax of an ages-old war between immortal warriors through past and present storylines? The answer is Highlander. Question number six. A reinterpretation of Jane Austen's 1813 novel Pride and Prejudice, what 2001 film stars Renee Zellweger as a 32-year-old English single woman who writes a diary which focuses on the things she wishes to happen in her life? The answer is Bridget Jones's Diary. Question number seven. Based on the series of children's books by author Michael Bond, what is the name of the 2014 film about an anthropomorphic bear who migrates from the jungles of darkest Peru to the streets of London? The name of the bear and the movie is Paddington. Question number eight. What 1996 Ewan McGregor movie follows a group of heroin addicts in an economically depressed area of Edinburgh and their passage through life and surviving the urban poverty and squalor in the city? The name of that movie was Train Spotting. Question number nine. With characters like Henwin, 
Fledbur Flam, Terran, Orin, Princess Illinois, Prince Gwydion, and Gurgi, what 1985 animated Disney film was inspired by the castles, scenery, mythology, and language of Wales? I probably butchered all those names, but the answer is the Black Cauldron. Question number 10. What 1995 American historical biographical film stars Liam Neeson as the title character, an 18th century Scottish clan chief who battles a sadistic nobleman in the Scottish Highlands? The answer is Rob Roy. Question 11. Shot entirely in California, but set entirely in London, based on P.L. Travers's book series with the same name, what 1964 film combines live action and animation and stars Julie Andrews in her feature film debut as the title character? The answer is Mary Poppins. Question number 12. Following the 18-year-old daughter of British Indian Sikhs in London who is infatuated with soccer, what 2002 film stars Parminder Nangra and Kira Knightley who both play on a local women's team which makes its way to the top of the league? Kira Knightley and Parminder Nangra star in Bend It Like Beckham. Question 13. Robert Downey Jr. sported a Welsh accent for what 2020 film, which was partly shot around the Menai Bridge in Anglesey, where he plays an eccentric physician who uses his special skill set to find a cure and save the queen? The answer is Doolittle. Question number 14. Colin Firth plays the future King George VI who, to cope with a stammer, sees an Australian speech and language therapist who he relies on to help him make his first wartime radio broadcast upon Britain's declaration of war on Germany in 1939. That film was The King's Speech. Question number 15. Directed and co-produced by Mel Gibson, who portrays William Wallace, a late 13th century Scottish warrior, in what 1995 film that depicts the life of Wallace leading the Scots in the First War of the Scottish Independence against King Edward I of England? The answer is Braveheart. Question 16. Although it's primarily set north of France, what 2017 Christopher Nolan film features both British Allied soldiers and the British civilian boat crews that assisted the evacuation of Allied forces? The answer is Dunkirk. Question number 17. What 2020 film is based on a true story of when Janet Vokes got the idea to breed a racehorse while working as a barmaid at a working men's club in a once thriving coal mining village in Seffen Forest, Wales? This is a pretty new movie, and it was pretty good. It's called Dream Horse. Question 18. 
based on Anthony Burgess's 1962 novel of the same name, what 1971 dystopian crime film directed by Stanley Kubrick is set in a dystopian near-future Britain. The answer is a clockwork orange. Question 19. What 2005 film is set in an alternative future where a neo-fascist totalitarian regime has subjugated the United Kingdom and an anarchist and masked freedom fighter attempts to ignite a revolution through elaborate terrorist acts? The answer is V for Vendetta. Question number 20. What 1996 family drama film stars Ted Danson and Joely Richardson and is set in and around the lake in Scotland where a mythical creature is believed to be living? The answer is Loch Ness. All right, that is it for today's trivia. And that is it for the UK Trivia Week. Tomorrow is my birthday, so we'll be doing a trivia quiz with 21 of my favorite trivia questions. There's no category, there's no real uh, theme or anything like that, just random categories, random levels of difficulty, just my favorite trivia qu questions that pop up when I'm playing trivia or when I'm writing trivia or you know the fun facts, the stuff that has just stuck in my head for whatever reason. I'm just going to put down 21 of my favorite questions and have a nice, fun, easy episode. After that, we'll be starting the Autumn Trivia Challenge. That's going to be a month-long set of quizzes that are going to be all random trivia quizzes. It's similar to Trebek Trivia and the Brainy Tuesday. They're all going to have some hard questions, some easy questions. We're going to have several different categories in each quiz. Last year we did what was called the Fall Ball, and that was super popular. A lot of people liked that series of quizzes. So this year we're doing the Autumn Trivia Challenge, and it's going to be 30 days. So make sure you're here every day for all of the quizzes. I think that's it. Got some good stuff coming up. Trying to figure out how I'm going to do Christmas trivia quizzes this year, because last year I feel like I pretty well... Uh, asked all the good Christmas trivia questions, but I'm looking forward to at least doing a couple more Christmas trivia quizzes. I might have to just link back to a bunch of them from last year. If you have any good ideas for a Christmas category, feel free to let me know. And if you'd like the question 21 tiebreaker today, you'll have to sit through some of these bloopers from a week-long UK um, trivia week. So I'm so sorry if you hear my. <laughs> yeah, actually, do, actually do that. Do that. Just, uh, yeah, what were I'm you gonna, saying? I'm gonna, you say, I'm hey, just be honest. Yeah, yeah, go on. Perfect. Be honest. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Open mic right now. Like, hey guys, you know what? Like, when you listen to mine, just know that I'm very sorry if I if you do hear me slip up, because this is my first time, and uh, I'm not gonna just beat around the bush. I'm terrible at talking. All right, <laughs> it's not not my style. Yeah. Yeah, same. It is. It's harder than it looks for all of you listening. Like it is so much harder. Like actually sitting in the chair reading the questions, it's it's so much different from just talking naturally. Yeah. Like I've messed. You know, I I thought I would breeze it. I've I messed up pretty much every question at least two or three times. It wasn't it wasn't great, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, and when Ben just tells us to demands us to come over and do these <laughs> things, it's yeah. um you know it can be quite stressful. So um yeah. And then I'll say special thanks to uh, my good friends that came over to help me record this week. Um, You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll just say it out loud there.
Hmm. Special thanks to my two friends who came over to help me get this stuff recorded this week. Will, thank you very much. It's been an honor. It's all good. Dom, thank you for coming over. I, was, I mean... It's been a roller coaster. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's, it was, you know, we got there in the end, but I, I hope everyone listening, wherever they are, in the driving or at home, I hope they, they had a good time listening to different voices. Um, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you, audience, for putting up with our accents all week and our British voices. Definitely something new. If nothing else, they got a good laugh out of it. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. We did um, too. People laughing at me, especially. So, uh, <laughs> Don't forget, if... Uh, Let's see how I say this. If you can't understand what they're saying, you're more than welcome to read the questions, which all pop up on the, or you could put on the closed caption, which also helps. If the questions are reading too fast, you can slow down the speed of the video by going down to the lower right hand corner of the video on YouTube. Alright, go ahead. Or you can uh, learn more English accents. That's what you could do. You put the effort in. Uh, yeah. There's lots of online videos. Uh, yeah, learn how we speak. To be fair, uh, Dom spoke English his whole life and could still barely say half the words. Yeah. On it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. not uh, too concerned about everyone else learning them. But I know we have viewers from I think it's last time I counted twelve different countries. Right. Fifty percent from America and about fifty percent from the UK, and then a few just sporadic ones like. Uh, Zimbabwe and the Philippines so hopefully you can understand what's being said but yeah hello to everyone and like all across the world hello that's pretty cool yeah, yeah Mr. The worldwide cool. mm. there you go a true meaning of it yes uh, <laughs> also uh, take a look in the description below and I will link the address to Dom's house <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna bleep that part out uh, <laughs> <laughs> it would have been so funny if you actually like set a random oh, address and peeped out. What you, <laughs> and I what you like, can do is now just leave the address to like Buckingham Palace or something. Oh yeah, just uh, and I'll I'll give a. In, in addition to that, yeah. um, Ben's number <laughs> is this and this and this. Dom's phone number is just call him when you fly in, and he'll come to the airport and pick you up. Yeah. No it, charge. If you have that, you might as well have this information. <laughs> you have any uh, fan mail? Uh, Dom's email address. Yes, is, uh, there we go. Is this. There you go. Check below in the description, and we will list all the email addresses of our guest speakers today. <laughs> feel free to send them exactly how you feel about their performance. Exactly. I'm going to have, like, hands cut up in a box. <laughs> You're going to have the paper crown, you know, uh, not murder letter, but the su not suicide. What's the word when they're... Uh, demand stuff like a ransom letter. Oh, yeah, yeah. No more Dom. And it's I, with, I thought you said it was going to be a kid's drawing of my head getting <laughs> chopped off or something. Well, yeah. yeah. You never know. All right. Welcome to Road Trip Via. Haha. <laughs> 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 Welcome to Road Trip Via. A once a day road trip trivia quiz. It's your boy. Welcome to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz, hosted by me, Dominic. I'm from Norfolk and I hope you enjoy this quiz. You said Cambridge in the first clip. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. I was afraid those audio files would get lost on my computer forever, so I had to publish them. That way I can always come back and listen to it and remember the good time we had while making these videos. Here's question 21 for today, the tiebreaker. The third 007 film to feature Daniel Craig, what 2012 movie features iconic UK scenes like James Bond chasing Silver through London Underground and thwarting his attack on the Parliament building? That James Bond movie is Skyfall. Thank you for watching. Check back tomorrow. And I appreciate you putting up with us this week.